Come one, come all. I'm going to on you, you. Hey, yeah. What y'all got going on on this lovely Sunday? Y'all yeah, over here on my y'all yeah, over here on my computer. I be trying to show out when I go live and have my computer like I've been over here doing something. Who you are? Who? Oh, oh well, you ain't need me take you. Who took you? What you wait for dinner, Rob? None. I miss church. Oh, you miss church today? You ain't had y'all churches open? Oh, y'all still online? Good evening, you're hilarious. Thank you. Did y'all go follow my own? Um, did y'all go follow my own um, my you my vlog channel? Y'all had to go ahead and start a new vlog, a YouTube vlog channel. Cause I guess it's my views just be so up and down on this channel, and I guess all your content have to be the same or something. I ain't want to start a whole new channel, but. I had to. So I'm starting over from scratch on the other channel. Yeah, share the link in here. The link on my community tab. And then I can't, I tried to pull up my, um, I tried to pull up the little, like, when you type it in there. But I guess you have to be on there for a certain amount of time to get, like, an actual URL so that people can look up. But I shared the link on my um community tab. So, make sure y'all be, y'all go subscribe to that other one. Because that's where all the blogs and stuff going to be on that channel. And all my skits is going to be on this channel. You like Miss Mulatto, low-key. You probably like the second person I ever heard say that. I don't really hear it for you. Be lean, love your work. Thank you, Pat. Hello, have a blessed day. You have a blessed day too. Which I said, I love your acting. Thank you. Some rice and chicken meat with mixed with some baked squash. Okay. It sounds good. You cook that raw. Hey, sexy K C M O in this. Okay, K C M O. Where are you? I'm at my mama's house. I got a key to my mama's house. My mama went here. My mama just walked in though. She probably mad because I'm here. Is Kaniga coming to visit you? Yeah, I think Kaniga supposed to be in Birmingham today or tomorrow. Your voice, your voice is dope. You ever thought about doing voiceovers on cartoons? I have. Um, I never really thought about it until I start hearing people suggest it, and now it make me want to do it. I need to find somebody to do cartoons. I wish I can do that jump myself. Because I'll be doing my own little cartoon voiceovers. I need to find out how to get that. Hey, I just started watching your content. Very unique and creative. Keep up the good work. The sky's the limit. Thank y'all. We need a Boomerang man cartoon. Oh, God. That would be funny. Hello, b -Lynn. Much love from Houston. What's happening in Houston? You would be a dope voice actor. Why, thank you. I'm going to try that out some type of way before the year out. The accent was cracking me in. My wife cooked it. Shout out to Tanya, dude. She be cooking. Okay, shout out to Tanya. Tanya whipping in the kitchen because, baby, I ain't going to cook. I can cook the basics. But that's all you're going to get is the basics. You ain't finna get too much of none of that extra stuff. You gonna get you some chicken, and I got a deep fryer, so I put everything in the deep fryer. Anything that you can put in the deep fryer, I put it in there. Anything. You could do voice work on Boondocks. Oh God, people be already be saying I sound like Riley or something. I don't hear it. I don't hear that. But a lot of people always say that when I do my Boomerang character, they always say that I sound like um the little boy on the Boondocks. I actually thought of doing some voiceovers already on a Boondocks cartoons just to see how it go, just to test it out and see. But I don't want to sound like somebody that's already out there. 
You do low key sound like Riley. Oh God, that's what they be saying. Or ghetto proud family. I can do some on the proud family. Ask some boys at the railroad. Oh, y'all must be in Birmingham, Rob. Texas in the building. What's happening, Texas? Deep fried donuts. Deep fried donuts. Oh, that what you eat? I don't like a I don't like a lot of sweets. I don't like a lot of sweets. How much would you charge to do my jingle for my podcast? I don't know. You have to email me or DM me on um Instagram. What kind of jingle? I'm saying hi from the ATL. What's happening? Be him all the way live. Okay, Rob, what part of Birmingham y'all from? Is that your real hell? Nope, this ain't my real hell. In the last few skits that I did with Tiffany and Fenarios and Jamal, my tracks was showing. Shoot. Gotta be glad that type of stuff don't phase me. Tracks showing all, all in the videos. I'm saying, you can see my track right here. These some tape ins. But I'm finna get ready to get these taken out. We'll go back to my real hair. This is straight tracks. It's good. Do you deep fry okra? No, I ain't never cooked okra before, but I eat it. Especially at the ones down here in the clubs. Our okra be so good at, at these clubs down here. We go to, to the club just to order okra and leave. London here too. Oh, London, that's cool. You stay out there in London or you from London? Like you got a, a accent and everything? That's fine. Beautiful multi talent from the South too. Yeah, sure. We down here in the South with it. What up, cuz? Shout out from Harlem. If you, I'm loving that country accent. says it's here. Thank you. Oberlin, why you showing those tracks? You are something else. Cuz I don't care. Baby, I don't be caring. They was already showing in the video. Even like I'm bald head though, I got some hair. I don't be can. People ask me if this my hair. No, this weed. Uh uh. I chose the tracks, baby, because it don't add or subtract to me. Your mama looking good walking by. You sound like Riley Friedman from the Boondocks. You could steal Regina King. Hold on, Regina King, you play that? Regina King. Which one is Regina King? I'm thinking about Regina Hall. Oh, she do play him, don't it? I sound like him right now. So I sound like the Boondocks dudes right now. Or do I only sound like him when I do Boo Man? Or do I sound like him right now? I keep asking that same question because as I keep asking that question, I'm trying to see if I hear that I sound like them. And I don't hear it. Home G, you are the best. I love all the videos. Missing Boo Man. That's why I like coming around here. You're awesome. Keep doing what you do, Dog Face. Thank you, Jessica. From the Caribbean. Ooh. This is the closest I'm going to get to the Caribbean by reading your comment that you from the Caribbean. Oh, you're not from London. You're from the Caribbean. Okay. I miss the South. Keep being the perfect you, sis. Thank you. Just Lynn. Oh, your middle name, Lynn. Oh, your first name, Lynn. How old are you? I'm 28. Dirty South in your mouth. Ha ha. From who? Kuwait. You, me, us, laugh. Oh, you make us laugh here in the Middle East. Okay. Make sure y'all be putting these people. Y'all people on me too, man. I gotta get my views and stuff up. Hopefully when I do my Color the South series, my views and stuff will go up. We glad to see. We glad to see you play one crazy in front of South Part 2. Okay. My cup, provolone stuff, cheese ops, and sauteed salad. Oh, y'all showing out. My best friend's supposed to be barbecuing, so I'm finna go over there at the wild her huh, huh, husband. So that's gonna be B Lynn. What's good with you, Miss Lady? I must say you are funny one crazy lady, but only in a good way, sweetie. Keep up the great work. Thank you, Curtis. Europe. You have Caribbean fans, Jamaican house. Oh god, you probably the only Caribbean fan I got. That's all right. They gonna know about me, though. Come out to Malibu and hang out. I barely can come to Birmingham and hang out, and I'm in Birmingham. I can't even afford to hang out here until I come across the country. 
Oh, you you working hard? I had a son named Denim. Is that how you said a month ago? And I'm along with him, but your videos keep me laughing the whole time. Thank you. I'm happy I can make y'all laugh, man. Yeah, y'all got to share my video. These 104 y'all on here. I only got 44 likes. We got to stop the madness. We got to stop the madness. Because I got about 15,000. How many scrubs I, I got? And my views don't match. But my views might match. Because I know the majority of the people on here came to follow me from Jamal and them pages. So they like skits and stuff. So I'm going to um, see. Once I get these vlogs off of here and put them on their other page. Then hopefully um all that shit will line up. But y'all gotta make sure y'all please go follow my other YouTube page with the um with our vlogs on them. Hey Brittany, you got you has got me laughing. Bad boo. Them YouTube dollars had to kick in by now. Yeah, they kicked in, but how much money y'all think I'm making off YouTube and I still gotta pay bills and stuff? Sure, they ain't making that much. I made, I made, uh, I made a little something. Post your YouTube link. I did. Y'all gotta go to my community tab. Go to my community tab, and I shared the vlog. I posted a brand new vlog yesterday, so I'm, I'm gonna be posting brand new vlogs. But in between, I'm gonna still start back posting some of the old vlogs that I had on this channel, cause I know a lot of people like to go back and and binge watch a lot of the same ones anyway too. But even for the new people that's going to come along. So, don't worry. I'm going to be posting new vlogs and old vlogs. So, y'all got to make sure y'all go on there and check it out. Um, but I shared it. Y'all got to go to my community tab. I shared the um video. I um shared it, the tab over there. I love your videos. Thank you, Wendell. You funny as hell. Thank you. I joined because you fine. I'm gonna need for you to join because you're a fan. Not because I'm fine. But thank you. You need to draw more videos with London and Jamal. Y'all have magic together. Yeah, when I'm out there in Atlanta, um, because I still got to work on my series here, but I'm going to still go out there just not as much because I got a lot of stuff to kind of handle here. But I'm, I'm still going to be doing collabs and stuff with them. So y'all will catch me on y'all on their page. But I'm trying to kick off my series. My channel gonna pick up though. We would love to see you do some skits with B Live. Who? Believe Cocaine. Who is that? B Live India loves you. Oh, I love y'all. Oh, God. Did you take them tents off your car yet? You can take them off yourself. You ain't got to tell me what I can use to take the tent off because I ain't finna take it off. Now, the back window, my tent is coming off a little. It's peeling off in the back, so I'm going to take it off only to get some new tent put on there. Can we talk about a sponsorship? What about a sponsorship? What's going to be the vlog topics? It's still going to be the same vlogs. The same vlogs that I was posting on this page is the same stuff with me and my mama. Whatever, just random stuff. Whatever we talking about when I turn the camera on, it's just random. I don't ever know what the topic's going to be about. We just do it. I can't believe your mom not pressing at you today. She back there doing something. She probably tired. I thought you lived in ATL. No, I live in Birmingham. I was just driving out there a lot. Yeah, I was watching the vlog on your other channel. Why the switch, though? Because Kanegra and Tremo told me that eventually, which they told me when I started my channel, that eventually I was going to have to make two separate pages because sometimes the algorithm don't do right when you got multiple content on your page. Um, So I had to switch over and do that whole other, um, just start doing content on like skits on this channel, vlogs on that channel. And if you go through my videos, you will see that majority of the most views are my skits rather than my vlogs. And it's mostly because I've been collabing with Jamal and Fenarios and them. And so they people is coming to my page because that's what they like to see. They like to see skits and stuff like that. Some don't really care about vlogs. They probably not the vlog watchers. 
so I had to just go ahead and switch the content just to break it down. I thought I was being smart by doing a playlist because I had a playlist set up for y'all with a playlist for nothing but my vlogs, a playlist but nothing but my skits, a playlist with nothing but the songs, the fake encouragement music that I be doing, but it ain't working. Like my views are like not matching up because people mostly all of my subscribers are coming on my page for skits and stuff they don't care about vlogs so i just went on and made the switch and i hate that i had to do it because it's already hard trying to get one page up let alone now i gotta worry about a whole nother page but i guess eventually in the end it'll work out right because they ain't gonna tell me that wrong Whenever you go, if the bell is clicked, the people will get it. Yeah, y'all got to make sure y'all had a bell thing clicked too. Interesting in posting on Facebook and YouTube. How do I start? Work. I mean, not work. I was reading somebody come in at the same time. Interesting in posting on Facebook and YouTube. How do I start? Just start. It ain't no right or wrong to doing it. Just start. Um, just start posting. That's what I tell a lot of people. Don't wait and be like, oh, I need this. I need this to get started. I got I'm gonna, I'm just gonna wait till I get this. I'm gonna wait. No, just go ahead and start. Start today. If you can. Just post. And just be consistent at it. Um, you live far from Jamal and them. Yeah, I live two hours and thirty minutes away. Birmingham, I stay in Birmingham, they stay in ATL, so that's like uh over two hour drive. Much love from the Caribbean. Black Americans should definitely try more and come see us. Yo. Where in Beham y'all from? Um, I'm from the east side. Her name is Blue Cocaine. Okay, I'm going to check her out. Your acting made me want to do acting more. You're really talented at acting. It's really good and expressive. It shows different emotions at different lines. It's really good. Thank you. I'm glad I can do that. Yo, you, yo go ahead and, and do that acting stuff. Why you and your mom always yelling when you two two feet from each other? Because we loud. We talk loud anyway. We just loud. What's cracking, queen? Cause what's happening, Jay? Oh, you two doing work. What you mean? You are very beautiful and talented to keep up the work. Thank you. You ever thought about putting your son in any of your skits? Um, yeah, sometimes. Him, him. My son be wanna play the game all the time and stuff like that. Um, I love your videos. I really love Mo D, but I kinda find it hard to watch you being boo man, but I love everything else you do. I don't know why people find it hard uh or don't like my boo man character. It's just acting. You see it every day. We see hood dudes like this, like I love it. Only um Boo Man my favorite character. Cause it shocked me when I be watching stuff, how I can go from acting like Boo Man to this, to that, to that. It showed my range. And, yeah, we know a lot of people like Boo Man, the junk funny. Like, a lot of people don't care too much for Boo Man, but, you know, it's, y it's cool. Um, I care about vlogs and skits you do. They are great. Thank you, Gavin. Much love from Nairobi, Kenya. I don't even know how to say that. I know how to say Kenya, though. Did you see my comment? No, just Kariah. I don't know how to say your name. Just Kariah Jones. I'm sorry. Rewrite it down at the bottom. Okay, thanks for breaking it down. Didn't know that's how it works. That's why I love about you. You keep it real. I forgot already. What I broke down? Well, how would it work? Yeah, my mind's so short-minded. I, I can't multitask for now. I'm trying to talk and read comments at the same time. Then five seconds, I'll be forgetting. Oh, you probably talking about the, the YouTube pages. You're a great actress. Keep up the good work. Love your work. Thank you. How did you meet Lenny? Um, I met Lenny through Jamal. I met Jamal through El Hodge. I met El Hodge through Canigo. Of course, El Hodge had came to Atlanta um, one weekend. I did a few skits with him, sketches with him, and I met Jamal on set. And I found out that Jamal stayed in Atlanta, and um, I wanted to, you know, start doing, like, getting into some sketches and stuff. And so, after that, um, I just ended up doing stuff with Jamal. Then Jamal bought me around. And I met Lenny and all of them. So, that's how I met them. 
Basically, I guess you could say through El Hodge is how I met Jamal and them. Tell us a story about how you met Tiffany. I don't got no story. I met Tiffany through J Jamal and them. <laughs> they came over to the house and we did sketches. It ain't no, uh, I just met her. The only person that I have a story with me is, basically, it ain't no no main stories. I met El Hodge through Canigro. And then I met Jamal through working with El Hodge. And he was on set. Then I wrote Jamal. I was like, hey, I want to be in some sketches. If you ever have some, can you put me in some? Boom, he hit me up. We met. Tiffany came over to the house. Boom. So, ain't no significant story with that. It's just, we just met through working. Um, how do I make funny stuff? What you mean? Just make it. Whatever you want to make. Pull your, your camera or your phone out and just do it. Just test some stuff out and do it. The best thing to make funny stuff is what's funny to you. Like... To me personally, I don't I don't think you can make that's how you make funny stuff. Whatever is funny to you, it'll be funny to some people. A lot of people ain't gonna think that it's funny or whatever, but if it's funny to you, that's what you make. Whatever that's funny to you, whatever you wanna make, you make that and you put it out there. That's how you make funny stuff. You know, we don't funny stuff starts out being funny to us. Um of course, that's how I make stuff. I don't be caring if people laugh or not. Like, it's funny to me. I do care if people laugh. I do. But if it's funny to me, then it's like, okay, yeah, it'd be funny to somebody. If I can see, and I think I probably be the one get my views up. Because when I make something, I go and watch my stuff a hundred times, especially if it's funny. Like, yeah. Let's see. Mm. What's the name of the other page? The other page name is um B Lynn Brittany Lynn Vlogs. Um go to my community tab because I, I shared it on there. But I think it's called Brittany Lynn Vlogs. But when I tried to type in Brittany Lynn Vlogs in the search thing, my vlogs came up. And most of my vlogs I done made private now. So you'll just have to go to my community tab and click on the um on the video that I shared yesterday. YouTube always picking out a good way to slow down a good thing, but they can't. True. East East is are loud. It's just how they talk. Oh God. You definitely talented, but the vlogs are good. Just got to keep a mix of everything and post post every day. The more you post, the more we see you. True. I'm trying to get up on there. Your TikTok videos with London and TK dancing is the funniest. Thank you. Really enjoy your work. Keep doing your thing. Love the vlog with you and your mom. Thank you. Looking good, little sister. Thank you, Floyd. How you doing, Floyd? Give them time. They'll get used to Boo Man. Yeah, it's cool. I don't care if they get used to him or not. Boo Man ain't going to be there. You know, you're going to have people that like and don't like stuff anyway, so I ain't mad, but... That boo man ain't gonna be there. I don't care who. The reason why you switched the YouTube page. Um. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I see what you're saying now. What was written on the cute shirt of yours with that sunshine on it? Oh, subline, I think. And I ain't changed clothes. And all through them skits, I had on the same outfit. You funny as hell. Much love from Brooklyn. Thank you. Check your Insta. Check your DM on Instagram. Love Instagram. I love your videos. Okay, I will when I get off here. Can we get a song right now? I'm, I'm going to throw y'all a concert this week. Oh, God. Tell your husband he temporarily hold my spot. Oh, Lord. Cut the South. Can't wait. Thank y'all. I hope y'all really rock with Cut the South for real. I'm still learning myself for real, but I'm growing. Are you still working with Villain TV? And do you plan on doing any big screen coming or anytime soon or in the near future? Yeah, I'm still doing stuff with Villain TV, man. I'm yeah, I'm playing tickets. Hi, I ain't gonna lie. I'm trying to get out there. I want to go back out there soon before um school started back with the kids. Um, cause I want to get in something else, but yeah, I'm gonna get out there soon. Are you still gonna do this? Have any big screen comedy work anytime soon? I plan on it. We'll see. In the future, yeah, I want to. Maximum cuteness, you're going to make it far. Thank you. When we watch work with... 
Me and Keisha been doing stuff. I know we've been doing like some one minute videos on Instagram. If y'all go on Keisha page on Instagram, you will see that we've been doing some on videos. I love Boom Man PR. Our sister is diverse and her talent is beyond bounds. If you don't like something, keep it mashing and don't stunt someone else's creativity flow. You got to give sis. Thank you, Jessalyn. Keep up the good work, Beelin. I enjoy your Boom Man skills, your blogs with your mother and your work with Lunny and Jamal. You are original. Please don't change. Thank you. Boom Man is hilarious. That dancing video. Yeah, I used to want to be a choreographer. When I was younger, I used to be in dance classes and stuff. And I wanted to be a choreographer when I grew up. Like, I wanted to dance so bad. I don't know how to really dance no more, but back in the day, you couldn't tell me nothing. Like, I wanted to be a choreographer. Choreographer. Post every day as a kid. If it's a blogger, it's a kid. Post every day. You got the talent. Thank you. Did you start making videos by using a phone camera or video camera? Baby, uh, phone camera, you better go back and look at the very first vlog I did on my page. Now, I kept that one up on my page. And I was telling y'all how I used to bootleg a lot of stuff. Um, filming stuff with my camera. I ain't even had the stuff to hold my camera up. I used to go to Dollar Tree. I had got a selfie stick. I got a little jar from Dollar Tree. Put some marbles in there. Stuck my selfie stick down up in there to hold my phone up. I got these little lights from five and below. Bro, you got to make do with what you got. The only reason I'm just starting to have some stuff now because I have a team now. And so they helping me out. Um, A lot of stuff that I have now, like this MacBook computer, some of the lights and stuff that I have now. Honestly, I was blessed with it because before then, oh, God. Boy, ain't nobody got time. Who got time to wait till you got money to get a camera? Baby, you'll be waiting. Not saying you'll be waiting because God might have somebody come hand you a camera. But who got the time to wait on that? If you got a phone camera, that I feel like that's all you need. Like me personally, I don't care to film on cameras and stuff like that. The only reason that I'm filming like my series on cameras now is because of my team and my manager. They have cameras. But I swear to God, the reason I got this iPhone and upgraded my gigabyte is because I was finna start filming more stuff off my phone. It's easier to me. And if the quality good, I don't care. I ain't finna sit right here and film like I mean, Hollywood, that's just me. I ain't knocking nobody, but that's me. Like, I, I started from a phone, so all the other stuff really don't faze me. That's why I be telling a lot of people, like, man, start with what you got. Start start with what you got. Everybody ain't got no camera. Sure, I still ain't got no camera money, lights money, and all that. It's by the grace of God that these people see my vision and believing in me and helping me. But other than that, straight phone. All my videos, every video on my page... It's shot with my phone and edited with my phone. Maybe the last two or three boom man skits that I have done, the last two or three has been edited on a computer because somebody blessed me with a computer because they found I was editing it with my phone. But other than that, baby, look up you some apps for your phone that you can edit on. Shoot, people, to me, if something funny or something good, as long as it's just clear, people don't care about it. You got to get this shot, get it. Oh, uh, no, baby, shoot that joint one way if you got to and keep it moving. Your talent, we looking at the talent. We looking at what you got going on. I don't be studying it because I looked at plenty of videos where somebody in the shot on their phone and it be so good. Baby, I still be sitting there laughing. I still, like, start with what you got and then you'll make your way up. But ain't nobody got time to be trying to sit here and wait, honey. You got to make up your own stuff. Why you keep playing with your lips at time? I don't know. It be a habit. I don't know. I just always do it. Dude, she's not looking for a relationship. She focuses on her career. You ain't lying, Neil. So funny when you play Crazy Girlfriend. You and James is funny. I love James. Boo Man is hilarious in my eyes. Thank you. Did you give up CNA? Um, yeah, I ended up, um, when the whole pandemic had started, like, two weeks before then, I had already put in my two-week notice to drop down to PRN so that I can work less and focus more on my videos, and as soon as my two-week notice kicked in, that's when the pandemic had started, so I just stopped going to work, and they ended up firing me because even when you're PRN, you have to pick up shifts and maintain some type of shifts at work, and so they ended up firing me, um, so I just been doing this full-time. And I've been, it's been like blessings on top of blessings, y'all. I ain't saying I got the most money in the world, but a lot of good things has happened to me since. So, I ain't worked since March. 
Um, I ain't gonna lie though. I, I feel that that unemployment. I ain't gonna lie to you. I feel that unemployment. And I've been, well, I gotta do my weekly little certified thing today. Weekly claim today while I'm talking to y'all. Um, I filed for unemployment when they fired me. So that was probably like two months ago, probably they fired me. But I ain't got no unemployment. I just got my food stamps though. I'm be getting three fifty a month. Like I said, blessings. Shoot, stop playing. Do you want to get married to a big guy? I don't even want to get married to... I, the only man I want to marry is an invisible guy. Because I don't want to marry nobody. I'm trying to focus on this. I'm focused on a man and I'm still struggling. He ain't finna... I ain't got nothing against big dudes. I ain't got no against nobody. I'm trying... Didn't you just hear me say I'm trying to get unemployment? That's the only thing I'm trying to worry about. The niggas at the unemployment office. They need to be giving me my unemployment money. That's the only nigga I'm worrying about right now. I can't focus on no dudes right now. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I, I just told my sister, I talked to my sister in the car earlier, and I told her when I get more, more stable or something like that, then I will. Um, but how the person that I am personally, like I have a guy best friend. I have a dude that I call my brother. Like he been my brother since like high school. Let me tell you something, cause people love to think that girls. She tell my that's her brother. They doing it? No, they not. Everybody don't do that. I don't know what females that mess that up for people, but them the type of I had a relationship with guys that's my best friends that's been around for a while. Then niggas want to come around. No, you can't hang around. So you need to go then. Then on top of that, then I work with dudes. Like, I work with Jamal, Lenny, um, Trey Mo, my homeboy, Lou. Like, I work with people. And some niggas don't be understanding that either. Oh, you must be doing this and that. Me, I just want to save all that trouble and focus on these videos. Because some niggas will say, I, I understand what you got going on. I understand. Then they get with you. Now it's a problem. Now they think you doing it to everybody who, who you in the video with. Everybody ain't got to be a freak because they working with somebody. But, yeah, that's why. Y'all ain't even asked for that whole story. But guess what? I gave it to you. I ain't nobody got time for that. Mm-mm. I got stuff to, to work on. Hey, Billy, I want to start my own YouTube. I know that's real focus on your brand become, Huh? Oh, hey, Destiny. Destiny, I love you because you, yeah, I went to high school with Destiny. She always supporting and stuff on here. I want to start my own YouTube. Yeah, Destiny, I'm going to, um, write me, write me on Facebook and I'm going I'm to give you my number and then you can call me and I can help you, um, set up your YouTube or, you know, tell you all the, the stuff that I've learned so far. So write me on Facebook and, um, give me your number. Yeah, you do. You got to come established. Because you get around here with these dudes, they going to take you through period. hell. Now, you know, y'all looked up. Y'all ain't seen me in four months. Now, I'm trying to come back and, and get back on the bar. And, and no, uh-uh. No. And the type of person that I am personally right now, I don't want to date because I'm, I'm the type of person that I always put whoever I'm dating before me or something like that. So, if he was to come along, like, I don't like you doing this. Because I'm talking a whole bunch of crap right now. But they be like, I don't like this. I don't like that. I don't like that. I didn't did that before where I didn't dated somebody. And I didn't cut people off for that person. Even though in my heart, I knew it was nothing like that with these people. They was genuinely like my family. Like, my mama looked at them as sons and stuff like that. And I ended up cutting them off because of this nigga. And then guess what? Me and this nigga not end up being together no more. And now, um, no, I feel like... To me, I feel like that's fate. When you when you cut somebody off that's like family to you for a nigga, like that's fate. Back in the day, I used to look at it like, well, you know, this my nigga, I'm going to respect it because I love him. No, that's fake. That's cutting somebody who been off in my corner who I done grew up with who like family to me for this motherfucker, no. I ain't cutting nobody else off for nobody. Like you going to have to get with her, you going to have to go. But I already know how dudes set up. So I'm going to save myself the headache and I'm going to save myself the trouble. When God come and tell me, okay, this the person you need to date, then yeah. But right now, I ain't trying to date. Like, I'm trying to continue my celibacy journey. I'm trying to... Then I still got to get myself together. 
Shoot, it's some relationships that didn't work out because, yeah, these niggas, they was 90% of the problem. But it was some stuff that I was doing too. So, no, let me get myself together because God might send somebody good right now. And now I'm finna mess over them because I ain't got myself together. And I know I got a lot of issues and problems and, and stuff from previous past relationships that I done been through now I'm finna take it out on y'all and you might actually be a good man I'm finna accuse you of cheating every second I'm I'm finna be trying no, I ain't got time then that, that be stressful don't nobody want to be in no relationship I know a dude don't want to be in a relationship with a girl and she insecure and doing all that that's gonna drive him crazy but it's also driving the insecure person crazy too because I can't even sit in a relationship and be happy because I'm wondering every five seconds what you doing when you not in my sight when you pick up your phone i'm wondering who that is that drive me crazy too so i gotta get myself together so that i can be in a healthy relationship and be able to manage having a relationship yeah i'm gonna have to call kanegra back because she just called me but i gotta focus on being i want to be to the point where i can be in a peaceful relationship and worry and still be able to focus on this stuff too my skits and stuff in my career but i ain't man i ain't studying all that other stuff right now i really don't i ain't got time for it like i said i'm trying to focus on getting this unemployment so i can flip this money for real but i don't lie i do i do be want to be in a relationship i do but i just know the timing ain't right and it ain't gonna go good do you have a secret lover undercover hell no i ain't got no secret lover I got some crushes. Shoot, somebody who I probably think fine, but I ain't. I don't even be talking to nobody, to be honest with y'all. I really don't. I'm either around, around with my mom and them, or. Shoot, or I'm always third willing. Both of my best friends are married. Um, my best friends for over 10, 11 years, both of them are married. But I either go around their house, sit up, like I'm finna go to my best friend's house um, in a minute, huh? Her husband finna barbecue. And then my other best friend, huh? Her husband married. I go over their house all the time and I sit up, but you know, I don't, I'm content with kind of being with myself for right now. Not saying I wanna be lonely forever, but right now I'm good with it um, until it's my time. Because the next relationship, I wanna be, um, I don't want to be a good relationship, but I'm messing around and shoot somebody in their kneecap. Now I'm, I got a mug shot and I'm, um, yeah. Mm. That's no reason why I need her to get my career up first so that I don't need no job. So if I get a record and cause I done shot this nigga house up or uh, burnt his house up, guess what? I got money to bail out and I don't care about having no record cause I don't need a job cause I work for myself. Now I can't do that right now. Because I might need a job next week. Now I went over here and burnt this man's car up like that girl that burnt that car up. And, and it blew her back. And now I'm looking like her. Finna have an arson record. Yeah, did y'all see that? Yeah, did y'all see that video they did with that girl that all uh, tried to burn that car up? And they had that lady on there singing, There is a bomb in Gilead. 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 I ain't heard that song in so long, but that used to be my song. That was funny. That was funny. Because only the real people that grew up in church know about that song right there. I said, who the hell thought of putting that song on that video? And when they kept saying, there is a bomb, it kept, it kept saying, boom, on that part that it kept blowing up. Yeah. I said, there is a bomb in Gilead. Dun, dun. Who know that song? It's 170 people on this live. I probably guarantee you, probably 10% of the people on this song actually know that song. I know it. We used to have a we used to have that on a cassette tape back in the day. This man named David that went to our church, he was the cassette. Tape player man. Y'all remember we used to get songs put on cassette tapes, like how they used to do the mixtapes. And we had that song on there. I think it was on side A or side B. You have to flip it. You used to have to flip it. Flip it to go to the other to the other song. Nope, I'm not from the US. It's okay. Clark sister sang that song. I ain't even know. I ain't know who the heck sung. Even back in the day, I just knew that was my song. 
<laughs> I ain't know that was thought of. You make my son that day. You can still sing. You you still can't sing, but it's all good. Cause that wasn't my singing voice. That that wasn't my singing voice. Y'all know my singing voice. There is a bomb in Gilead. There is a bomb. That's my singing voice. Something, something. You can't sign. You need a super chat. I ain't getting super chat because I heard YouTube want to take their cut out of super chat. I ain't, I ain't got that much money where I can give somebody a cut out of nothing. I need all of me. I need all of me. YouTube got money. And no disrespect to YouTube. No disrespect to them. Because they, they might try to cut me out. But I ain't. I, I just can't do that. Not right now. And I'm a fan. You are beautiful and funny. Thank you. Ask Kanigo on how it works. Yeah, I got to call Kanigo back because she called me. I think she in town. We sure was supposed to be working. A percentage of something is better than 100% of nothing. Okay, you right. You right. But by the time I do that, let me just shoot y'all my cash out. They already made you get another page. Who made me get another page? Oh, talking about YouTube or you talking about Kanigo and Tremo? Did you see the one with Chinez Meyer? I ain't see the one with Chinez Meyer. I look, I've been trying to do something with Chinez Meyer. I wrote Chinez Meyer one time. He ain't never responded. No, he did respond, but it went like on some I'm gonna work with you. He just sent like a smiley face. Nigga, you gonna work with me or not? But it's okay. But he followed me on on, on Instagram. So I ain't, I don't be sweating. I don't reach out to a lot of people to work with no more. I just like it's God willing. Y'all will see one of my videos one day and y'all reach out to me to um do a video with me. When did you meet Kanigra? Man, me and Kanigra met when I was like 17. I've been knowing Kanigra since I was a youngin. I met Kanigra when I was 17, y'all. And I was dating this dude. And he was a hood dude. Anyway, I was dating him and he was like, yo, I'm going to get you to come meet my sister. She like a sister to me. Now, back then... I'm like, okay, now I just got done preaching about how some girls can, you know, say somebody their brother and not mess with them. Kanigra never, like, this dude was truly like her brother. But I didn't know that at the time, because I don't know no Kanigra. So I'm like, okay, I'll go meet her. Now he hood, so I'm thinking it's going to be a hood, ugly girl, something like that. Cool, I'll go meet him. I get to this house, and I see Kanigra, beautiful self, sitting on that couch. Oh, baby, me, it was me and my best friend, Krishan, went. And they was in my best friend Krishan getting along with the girl. They ended up playing on well, getting along with Kanigra. They was in up playing cards and stuff. Y'all had an attitude the whole time. I did not like Kanigra at all. How we got past that, I don't, I don't know how we got cool. I think I ended up realizing that she really was like a sister to him. And then after that, me and Kanigra and um Krishan, we got like this. So we started hanging out in the hood on the west side. Um our homeboy had died. And then we started doing this thing called Young Bros Promotions, where we started doing like promote parties and stuff. So we was going out like every weekend. Um, and we just started being together every weekend. That was back when I was like 17. No, that part of, no, yeah, I was in high school then. I was in high school. And so ever since then, it just went from there to there. Then me and Kanigra, years ago, before she moved to California, we had a um, clothing line business where we styled people together. Um, so we started doing that, that business. Um, and then she ended up moving to California, but hell, we've been knowing each other since I was like 17 and Conegra probably was like 20, 20. Yeah. So we've been knowing each other for a long time. So for over 10 little years, but that's how we met. I ain't like her at first. Um, cause I thought she was pretty and I was like, nah, I know this nigga ain't talking about this his sister. And then after that, we just been close, um. Ever since. So that's how we met. You don't need them. You're going to be big enough. I don't know. Watch. I pray. What happened with you and Villain TV? Y'all got to stop thinking that because people ain't in people's videos that something happened to them. Ain't nothing happened. I stay. We're not accusing you of saying that you doing that. But uh, a lot of people sometimes don't see you in people's videos and they be thinking that something happened. Nothing happened. I stay in Birmingham. Dylan TV is all the way in Philadelphia. So when um which they look out for me all the time when I come out there, but 
I just haven't been out there um lately, but when I go out there, I always stay for, I try to stay too close to a week so that I can knock out a whole bunch of stuff, but shoot, if I lived in Philadelphia, y'all would see me in Villain TV all the time, but them still my folks, man. He played a big part in helping me with my YouTube and he put me on a whole bunch of stuff. I love Villain TV because hell, that's who I started with. I think they was on, um, yeah, doing this YouTube movies and stuff. That's who I started with. Them my folks. Like, I'm, I don't, hey. So, I'm getting back out there. Um, I'm getting back out there soon. Really, I had no idea you knew Kaniga for that long. Hell yeah. Since I you got, you got high off villain TV, remember? Oh, yeah, on that episode. That's such a woman's story not to be sexist. I ain't like her because she was pretty and probably was in my man. Yeah. Shoot, I'm going to say it. You know, some people think like that. And then I was insecure and stuff too. Shoot. Yeah, I'm going to think that. This girl too damn pretty. Somebody did your sister. Yup. But now I understand because I have brothers and guys' best friends. And I know that it is, it is possible for a guy to be around a pretty woman and not try to talk to them. Because all my best, my guy best friend, the guy that I look at as my brother, which I've been knowing him since I was in high school. He always called me his little sister. None of them niggas have never came on to me. They always give me good advice. They always do when I need them. Like, my the dude that I call my brother, his baby mama do not mind me being around him. Like, because she know. Like, she know. Oh, ain't nothing going on with them. That's really like her sister. Like, me and her hang sometimes. I just went out with them way week before last. Like, I can call her phone, looking for him, all that type of stuff. Like, some some people genuinely can be pretty and a guy don't try them. And then it's too, like... When people really look at you like family, because, hell, we all got somebody pretty in our family, and we ain't finna try to talk to them why, because it's our family. That's how niggas look at me. Like, niggas, my, 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 they don't, they don't try that joint. So, now I do believe if I was to get a man and he was to tell me, oh, this girl my best friend, if I don't feel nothing in my spirit that is wrong or something like that, then I'm going to trust it, because I'm going to want you to have that same respect for me and trust me, because this nigga like my brother, and he literally like my brother. So, I do believe that. And I thank God that I'm in this predicament now that God placed some guys around me that's really like my family, that's never tried me or none of that. Because that give me, that makes me kind of trust other niggas. Because back in the day, before I was in the predicament that I'm in, I would, a nigga couldn't tell me that somebody was their sister or their cousin or their best friend. Nigga, you lying. Y'all doing it. But no, it's not like that. Like, it's really not like that. It's people out here that really genuinely have people that's their best friend or like they sister and at this point i cut a nigga off that i'm dating so i'm like you need to stop talking to him no you just need to go because it's like my family so it's i look at it like that now um so i would if god was to send me a guy and he got somebody that's a best friend or something like that if i ain't got no right to if you ain't gave me no reason to think that y'all fooling around y'all yeah, trust you that's your best friend that's just cool y'all yeah, cool good because I understand that, John. You know, but it's it's only easy to understand that if you're in that predicament. Like, if a woman or a nigga ain't never called about their brother or their sister and it was genuinely that type of relationship, then honestly, you can't expect for somebody to understand it. Like, you can't be like, why don't you understand that? They don't understand that because they ain't never been in that predicament. But it's, it's, it's true. That John could happen. Yeah, I got a few guys that I consider to be my brothers and they and all they ladies respected because we're literally like blood, yeah. And she know that y'all ain't got nothing going on like that now. A woman know if y'all got something going on. But then sometimes that can be misled as well because I was misled by Kanegra and her brother. But back then, I ain't really know about this. So I'm really just like, no. Nah. But yeah, you see all them folks on, on here. Then you put your cash up out there. You get a blessing, YouTube blessing too, no matter how small it is like the brother percentage of something yo you had me crying in some of your skis thank you you play that crazy girl very very well i'm gonna start putting some series i want to start doing like some short clips like that one that i did with the um the ex in my house the danger i want to start doing like some serious type um skits too so that people can see my range of acting so that y'all don't think 
So y'all can see that I can play crazy. I can play boo man. I can play serious. I can play this and that. That's kind of, I think that's kind of why I like this color, the South series I'm working on because it's comedy, but at the same time, it's kind of serious. It's still on some hood type stuff, but I'm going to start putting some more content out there where it's just some short stuff of like, um, some acting and stuff like that of my own content. That's why I like too. That's why I like person name, like, um, different series and stuff. That I do like remake of Martin and Gina, remake of Taraja P. Henson. I be I like doing that stuff. A lot of people probably don't like watching it, but I like doing that stuff because I be wanting to test myself. Let me see if I can play this role. I know I'm not trying to be like them because I know that they they are already exist, but I like doing it sometimes and it's easy for me sometimes instead of trying to write my own stuff sometimes. But I like to just do both of them. Uh -huh. Get yourself a vanilla ice. What's a vanilla ice? We need a part two of that skit. Part two of what skit? Yeah, he said, I still want to laugh even though you were serious. It was good though. A lot of people still don't be taking me serious sometimes even when I'm serious. They don't. That don't be so funny. Have you heard of MK Slat? Yup, I heard of MK Slat. That nigga big too, man. That nigga got over a million followers on Instagram. I ain't never ran into him. I ain't even know he was from Birmingham. Who you think shot Meg? I don't know. They said Torres shot Meg. I ain't want to believe he shot that girl. But I seen something else say, um, you know, a, a lot of times I don't go by a lot of stuff because I don't know what really happened. But somebody said that male was beating the hell out of Tory Lane. That nigga pulled a gun out and shot in the toe. Like on Harlem, Harlem Nights. Baby hair lay. And I be cutting my baby hairs. I cut these. My best friend gets mad because I have to cut. I cut these, baby. I cut some and I put that gel on there with the toothbrush and I swoops it to the left. That's right. If you want something, you got to go and get it. You can't wait until the opportunity presents itself. You think I'm... Cut them. Cut them. Cut them soup. Cut soup. That's all you do. I, I was going to give y'all a YouTube tutorial, but that's all you do. Cut soup. That's it. Yeah, look how big Meg is. Yeah, you, he had to shoot in the toe now. Meg probably was tossing that man there. Well... But I don't know how true that is because when I read the reports, the very first report came out was the neighbor said that they heard some gunshot. I don't understand how that could have happened because somebody said that they was fine and he was mad because she got out the car. But the video that we seen when the police had toy on the ground and she was walking back up from the car, she had just got the car. I don't understand. You know, I, I, I'm just going to wait till they speak out. I'm waiting for Tory Lanez to get out, though, and I need him to go live because we need some some answers. Your voice sound like Joy from My Name is Earl. I ain't never watched it. I enjoy when your mom be climbing. Yeah, my mom be down the phone. Y'all, it's raining here. Who am I supposed to go to a barbecue? I supposed to be. Yeah, Boo Man and my dudes did a, um, a video. I supposed to be editing it so that I can put it online today. But instead, guess what I'm doing? I'm here talking to y'all. I'm from the age, and our chicks down here got dudes, uh, hands like dudes. I bet they do. Meg, look like she probably whoop a nigga. How old are you? 28? No, it ain't raining. It's raining on... Y'all got... Y'all, it's raining on the east. It's raining, raining. Oh, God. I'm mad, too. I think that's probably a sign God telling me to sit at home and edit this video. And then I got some more, um... Vlogs. And then I got another skit that I need to be doing, too. And I got a song that I need to do. I ain't did no song in a minute. Yes, and you are, in, and are enjoying yourself with those people are all over. Yeah, I like getting on live. I can get on YouTube live all day. Talk to you. Miss Natural Beauty and Mama Natural Beauty. Thank you. Somebody trying to take your ID on Facebook. Be Lynn Real. Yeah, that's another thing. Um, be, um, on Facebook, people is making fake pages of me. 
And I know it got to be at least four to six pages. And one day they made four. It was four people made one, four different pages. And then today it's another one going around. Don't accept them. If y'all follow me on Facebook, I only have one fan page in the description of them on my YouTube channel. And then half the time, my name don't even be spelled right. And they on here talking about, congratulations, you won money. Baby, y'all know I be on here telling y'all I'm broke. So y'all know I ain't passing down no money. Oh, congratulations, you won money. No, congratulations, you finna get scammed. Because I ain't got no money. The real B. And then they be having audacity to put the real B lean on them. Okay. Y'all can be that. Y'all can be that. Because I ain't got no money. Yeah, yeah. You might need to work, shout out. I know I need to. I see it's still a day over there. It's 12.30 a.m. over here. Oh, God. Morello Silver. Where you at? Heck, yeah. It's daytime over here. It's about, it about five, a good five, five, six o'clock over here. You ever been to Mobile? Have I ever been to Mobile? I think I have. I don't remember. Dang, where you at? I'm in Birmingham, Alabama. They jealous of be leading funny videos. Oh, God. The reason they don't like Boomer is because they see you with more range. I watch you on other people's skits, and you is always the star, just like Kevin Hart. Think about it. The reason they don't like Boomer is because they see you with more range. I watch you on other people, and you is always the star. But that's still a range. I know they say they 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 see me with with. You know you're saying they see me with more range. Boo Man is a range. That's one of the ranges. That's part. Range is, having range is heal, 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 heal. You can do this. You can do that. You can do that. You can do this. Baby, I don't be caring what these folks say about Boo Man no more. Because Boo Man is going to be Boo Man. And Boo Man is going to be Boo Man. And Boo Man going to still wear that green vest. Like, that's 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 what it's going to be. Like, I don't, I don't be understanding why Boo Man bother people so much. And I think, I don't know. I ain't trying to figure it out. But you know, y'all might not like Boo Man, but y'all might like something else I do. Either way, thank you for supporting. Uh, but Boo Man is going to come with me from the bottom to the top. I'm just going to tell y'all tell y'all that off the ripple. Tell y'all that off the ripple. Boo Man is not going nowhere. Y'all see this Boo Bag? Baby, I want Boo Man on everything. Boo Man is even on my keys. What's my yeah, baby? I got Boo Man this little thing on my keys. Boo Man is on my screen save on my computer. I just got a mug, a coffee mug yesterday, and it got Boo Man. That's why I like coming around this hole. I got some masks, some Boo Man masks. That's why I like coming around this hole, and it's on my website. Um, but it's only like ten of them, so they was well, nine now because I think somebody bought one. But those are for limited time offers. But man, ain't going nowhere. On God. On the God. You remind me of your cousin. You keep it real. Oh, yeah, I'm going to keep it real. I don't care how embarrassing it is or not. I'm going to tell y'all what the whoop is. Hey, love. Just tuning in. Looking pretty blue. Alabama girl here. It's okay, Alabama. Do whatever you want. I am. Thank you. I'm gonna get some more. When when yourself going? When you gonna collab with? Y'all be asking me when I'm collab with all these big people. I don't know Big John and all them. I only know the people I know, y'all. And I can't get out there to collab with nobody right now because I'm still. I oh, I ain't got no plane ticket money. Not right now. My social media ain't hitting that hard. Shoot. The website for the merch is www.1, the number one, blin.com. You from Beham, you black, and you got skills, and I want my B-Man shirt. Yeah, go on the website and um get it, Rob. www.1blin.com. Make sure those dishes are done. Oh, God. Boo Man need a podcast. I, I, I would probably do that. What's up from Chicago? Wants to know whom Boo Man was inspired by. Um, Boo Man was inspired by um uh, me and Trey Mo. Um, I was going around there with Trey Mo, and it's at the point where I knew I want I was already doing skits, but but he was like, "Man, you want to have your character eventually." And most of the times, I talk like Boo Man. So when me and Trey Mo would be together. 
I will always just start talking like that. And I'd be like, bro, that one all like come around in hoe every time. And then one day he was like, bro, that's it. He was like, he told me to wear my hand two braids, get me a vest, um, and wear the same outfit. A lot of people be like, boo man need to change outfits. The reason I don't do that and Trey Mo taught me that is because eventually when I get bigger, some people gonna wanna be boo man for Halloween. And what you gotta do to be boo man for Halloween? Get a green vest, a white t-shirt, and some jeans. And if you got them, two, two braids or however. And people gonna know, oh, this nigga being boo man. But if I switch up my clothes and all this and that, it takes away from the character. So, but that's how I came up with boo man being myself. And me and Trey Mo came up with it. He gave me two options for a name. He was like, this name or this name. I can't remember the second name. And I was like, boo man. I wanna do boo man. So we went with it and we started rocking it. And Trey Mo really is the one that helped me do that. So me and Trey Mo inspired it just from playing around all the time. Can I cash up you $100? Yes, the hell you, you may. Cash up dollar sign B L Y N N C U H. B Lynn Cub with one H. Can I cash app you? I don't know how to drop my cash app on here. Somebody drop my cash app in the comments. It's B L Y N N C U H. One H. Y'all need to do that next time. You know Boo Man from the West Side on God. A lot of people think I'm from Atlanta. They swear Boo Man act like Atlanta people too. Like a lot of people think I'm from Atlanta. Them little kids on TikTok been 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 been, been fucking with Boo Man hard lately. Them little kids love Boo Man. Okay, thank you. Good night. Good night, Morello. You should do a skill boo man getting a makeover and he don't like it. Thank me later. Oh God, that's good. You gotta give us a moderator status to post your link, huh? What you mean moderator status? Oh, y'all want me to write down my cash out, huh? Let me see if I can go on YouTube. I'm finna put it in the witch collar. Hold on. I'm mad that it's raining. Oh, it ain't the password. Okay. It dang the password. Just say that. Lord. Let me see if I can get on here. Boo man, it like some of my folks from Birmingham, West End, the bees at. Oh, yeah. I bet you do it like some folks from the West Side. No disrespect to the West Side. My mom back there in the back on the phone. I be trying. I be. I be trying to um. I be trying to pin it. YouTube so got dog on. YouTube so got dog. Okay, I'm on here. Let's see. This is my cash out. It, it won't let me pin it, though. B. Lynn and Mr. James. Mr. James who? You talking about London James or you talking about Dion Brooks, Mr. James? What, what Mr. James you talking about? Thank you, Neil. I'll see you later. I only have five dollars, but you can have that, baby. I ain't peak. Raw, he from Central Paul. His family last name Savage. Nasty, Mr. Giants. Okay, D you talking Dion Brooks. Okay. Let me screenshot this real quick. Because I think that's so funny.
the hell you screenshot? What you mean high screenshot? My wife and my best friend are friends. They have a group chat with my sister. I know that real. I got three people on live. Huh? What you mean you got three people on live? Yeah, that's it, Floyd. Yeah, that's my that's my cash app right there. Oh, you know, what kind of phone you got, Rob? No, you from the west side. It may say, hell no, I'm just playing. It, it depends on what type of phone you got. It, it's how you uh how you screenshot. Yo, you super fat with your ghetto self. Thank you. Y'all my best friend Shantae on here. Shantae, I just got done talking about you earlier. I told her I was supposed to come to your house to barbecue. And I seen you text me. I can't respond back because I'm on live. But I seen your name uh, pop down. What you said, Shantae? Y'all up down the hill. You ain't funny. I'm from the north side. Oh, my fault? Damn, bro. You know I ain't hating on you. It's all love, bro. Oh, God. I got an iPhone 11 Pro Max. I got an iPhone 11 Pro. And I had to pay, I had to pay five hundred, five hundred dollars down for this dog on jump. For real, and that rap video was tight. Thank you. We on the way. You know it never rain on the hill. Oh yeah, it sure don't. Okay, I'm finna come up there. I was probably editing this. I was trying. I came to my mama's house to waste time to edit this video till y'all had got up there. But I'm about to pull up over there. I'm finna go to the store and get some drinks. Y'all got some bills. I know Dreads probably got some bills. I appreciate you putting on the ham and a positive manner. Keep it coming because we need Thank you. Thank you. You gain the weight. On God, I am. And then somebody, somebody going to ask up on one of Jamal videos is being pregnant. No. I'm just gaining weight. Y'all, this is the biggest I've ever been in my life. I weigh 136 pounds. All my life, it was so hard for me to get. Like, I could never get past 100 pounds. Never. This the biggest I've been in my whole life. And I'm 136. I'm 136 pounds. Don't. That's your problem. That's your problem. Y'all looking at this. Don't look at this. I can suck it in and get my posture right, but don't worry about that. That fupa. That ain't no fupa. That's a stomach. A oh, fupa. You, you got to. A oh, fupa. That girl, Trisha Payne says, oh, Lord, I couldn't wait. I got to start working out. But at this point, y'all going to get whatever body I put on these videos. If my stomach sunk down to the floor, falling over my pants to the floor, don't, I ain't here to entertain y'all with my stomach. I'm here to entertain y'all with my gills and make y'all laugh. So don't worry about that. I get tired after a while and go to the gym. But for right now, God ain't spoke to me and told me, go to the gym. God ain't told me that. And I move when God tell me to do something. I'm not finna move out of alignment with God. God ain't told me, go to the gym. That's your problem. Y'all out here moving, moving, moving. Be still and listen to God and know that he is God. When God say go to the gym, guess what I'm going to do? I still ain't going to go right away. But guess what? I'm going to go. Because even when God tell you to do something, you still need to be still and listen. Because sometimes y'all get stuff confused with something being God and it ain't God sometimes. You got to be still and listen and know if it's God's voice. So even when God say, Brittany, okay, my child, go to the gym. I'm still not going. I still need to be still. I still need to be still. Because I need to know, God, is that you? Or is it be still? That's just like another example. It just fell in my spirit. Thank you. When you at a traffic light and that light turned green, stop going. Don't go 
right there and wait. You know why? Because it might be another car from this side that's finna go and hit you. Because you rushing. Because just because you see a green light, it mean go. Green light mean, wait a second, go. So don't worry about this. Don't don't worry about this. I'm 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 gonna get that together. I'm I'm gonna get that together. Shoot, now I don't know who that was for, but God told me to say that, and I ain't playing. I don't know who that message may be for. It may not be about you going to the gym, but it's some. It's be still and listen. God ain't told me this the season for my body. When I'm ready to go to the gym, get what? I'm going to go. And I just got my food stamp. So guess what else I can do? Guess what else I can do? Meal prep. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. I can go to the store and buy groceries and stuff. It went time for me to go to the gym because I didn't have the resources. Talking about going, buying food is high. And even though I got my food stamp card, guess what? I still ain't finna go right now. Not right now. Not, not right now. Because it ain't my season to work out. It's not my season to work out. It's my season to work in. I'm working in YouTube. I'm working in Facebook. I'm working in Instagram. When God tell me, then guess what season is going to be time for me to work out. I ain't even got no air in my car. Come on, make, make it make sense. Make it make sense. I ain't got no air in my car. So guess what's going to happen when I get done working out? Let me tell you, this is how I know. This is a part of God's plan, not to work out right now. I don't have no air in my car, right? So I'm going to get in my car, drive down to that gym, get hot, and sweat. And then what? Now I'm back in the car and it's hot. I didn't even wear these clothes over here, baby. These are my mama clothes. I didn't wear these over here. I'm going to show you what I wore over here. And, and this comes from me doing what I want to do and not being still listening to God. Baby, I had these pants on and, and this tank top. Knowing that it was hot outside. And I, I, I'm going to put on some clothes today. And I get in that car and guess what? I got out the car with my legs wet. I was hot. And my mama don't even know. I got these when she wasn't even here. And I put these on. Why? Because I'm hot. That, that goes back to the gym. I can't go to the gym, baby, and work out and get hot and get in that hot car. Not right now. That's, that's why I said is it wait and these might do be excuses because i don't want to work out the gym these might do be excuses 80 percent of that was excuses but guess what guess what i just did i'm making excuses for y'all because guess what this message just helped somebody that's going through something right now and what god said Wait. Somebody probably trying to go out there and get a car. Because your friend ain't got a car. Now you want to go out there and get a car. And what God telling me to tell y'all. Wait. I ain't. Stop living above y'all means. Stop y'all out here living above your means. Living above your means. Want to do something because somebody else got something. I ain't even got no air in my car. My friends around here living in nice houses. Guess where I stay? Income base with the project flows. But guess what? I ain't trying to run out here because God said what? Somebody waiting to come in. What God said? Wait. Because it's not your time. Okay. It ain't time me to go to the gym. That goes back. Yo, you pregnant. You gaining weight because God ain't told me to go to the gym. God ain't told me to work out. It's my season to work in. I'm working in. That what wrong with y'all. Stop all that. Stop all that.
Y'all, y'all want to go to the gym and work out because your friend going to the gym and work out. Come on now. Come on now. No, I got friends that's trainers and own the gym. He called me and said, it's time for you to get in the gym. Guess what I said? God ain't told me to do that. God, he said, wait, it don't work out right now. You eat. This is the season of eating. Eat. Why y'all think God got us in this pandemic? Why? To sit at home and eat. Eat what you got at home. A lot of y'all going out buying food, spending, spending, spending. God said, eat what you got at home. You see your friends on here making shrimp, pasta, souffle, and all that. God said, go home and make that fried bologna sandwich. A lot of y'all think y'all too good for fried bologna sandwiches and stuff. Fried up. I can open my mom's refrigerator right now and, and guess what? I bet you some bologna in there. And guess what? We chose to buy bologna. Because I got my food stamp card, baby. She can have whatever she like. We chose to do that. Sometimes a lot of y'all need to go back to eat some of them struggle meals. Because of somebody out here. Mmm. Mmm. I heard you. A lot of y'all out here need to humble y'all self. Mm -hmm. You might got cars and, and all that, all that. God humbling me with my no L in my car. People, why you ain't get your L fits? Why you ain't got your, cause God said, wait, humble. Wait, cause it's not my season for L right now. Sometimes when you going through stuff and you might be said, I ain't got no L in my car. I, I ain't got no money to do this. Start telling yourself it ain't my season. God said, wait, if you think with that mindset, you won't rush it. You won't be around here crying because you ain't got no air in your car. Wait. I'm trying to tell y'all. I tried to get in that car today with some pants on. God said, wait, I'm finna show you something. I'm finna show you something. Since you want to get out here with some capri pants on, knowing you ain't got no air in this car. I got something for you. It felt like in my car, there is a bomb in Gilead. There is a bomb. It felt like a bomb had went off in my car. It was so hot. God said, wait. Okay. Keep leaving the boy, y'all memes out here. Okay. I seen somebody the other day going to talk about, I ain't going to let my kids eat. Uh, pork and beans and hot dog the struggle meal come on queen make it make sense make it come on now that was my favorite struggle meal that's all I'm humble yourselves humble yourselves now that's all I'm gonna say you know when God tell me to speak to people I speak to them I'm not getting no gym yet cause this ain't the season for that Eat what you got at home. Somebody right now finna get ready to go get in their car to go buy something to eat and, and, and ain't got no money. Eat what you got at home. Make you a sandwich. You want to go buy some food so you can take a picture and put on your little Instagram post because your friends do it. Eat what you got at home. And you can dress your sandwich up. You can dress your sandwich up now. You can do that. Y'all gonna get enough. Y'all gonna get enough. You gonna get enough. Mm-mm. Sir, sound just be here. What's your favorite struggle meal? What's your favorite struggle meal? Let's talk about it right now. If you don't got no lemon, that's okay. Get some sugar water protein. It's lemonade. And a lot of y'all, let me tell you what I used to do when I used to go out to eat with my friends. Get some water, ask for water, lemon, and sugar. And we make that lemonade right there at the table. We didn't even try to hide it. Because the white man will try to trick you to buy some lemonade when you can drink it free. When you get your lemonade, you're going to have to add sugar to it anyway. You're going to have to put some fixings to it. Make your lemonade at the table. A lot of y'all out here struggling because you're trying to live a... Mm. 
Yeah. A lot of y'all out here struggling because you're trying to live above your means. You around here, your friends inviting you out to eat. You know you ain't got no money. You gone. And that's another thing. Them ain't your real friends. If you can't tell your friends, I ain't got no money. Them ain't your friends. Them ain't your friends. I watch people all the time around here, and I know they ain't got no money, but you all trying to keep up with your friends because they got money. Oh, I tell my friends all the time, I ain't got it. Y'all know if I tell y'all, and I don't know y'all, you know I'm going to tell my friend, I don't got it. Let's go have a girl's trip out of town. I ain't got it. I can come over your house and spend the night. And we can act like we out of town and drink some wine, play some music. Because that's what we going to do when we get out of town anyway. Stop trying to live above y'all means. That ain't what God got for y'all. That's why God got y'all in this quarantine. Because you want to keep going to restaurants every weekend. And you ain't got no money. God said, sit down. Or guess what? Guess what happened when you don't sit down? He gonna sit you down. I ain't mad at the pandemic. Because before the pandemic started, I ain't had no money to go nowhere anyway. This saved me trouble from having to tell everybody a hundred times a day. I can't go. Girl, I ain't got no money. I, ain't, I can't go. I ain't got no money. I can't go. I ain't got no money. God sees that. Why? We ain't got to say it no more because everything closed. Now somebody like, girl, let's go to the club. Girl, no. No. Girl, you crazy. Baby, that's closed. Going to brunch every Sunday. Okay. My friends will pay for me, though. And guess what? And they don't talk about me when they got to pay. That's another thing. Get you some friends that you is struggling. They ain't laughing at your struggle. Talking behind your back about it. Going to tell everybody, I gave her this because she ain't have it. That's another thing about me. I'm going to tell you my struggle. Because if anybody think they're going to be going behind my back trying to tell the next person that I'm struggling, guess what? Watch my vlogs. Watch it. Watch my blogs. Because you going to know. Stop being ashamed of the struggle. Sit down somewhere. Hmm. No, I ain't got no air in my car. But guess what I do? Now, I forgot to do that. I got my little cup that keep your, uh, that keep your, your stuff. What them cups called? Them cups that keep your stuff cold for a long time. Get that. Learn how to live through struggle. You got to be appreciative for what you got. I don't complain about not having no L, but I do be hot as hell. Now, I do, I don't complain, complain, but I be like, damn, I'm hot. And I do be cussing out everybody in traffic because they be driving too slow. But I know how to live through it. You got to learn how to live through your struggle. Somebody and they car don't work. I need a new car. I need a new car. No, you need some ice water. And get in your car and go and go where you going to go. And get on the freeway. Stop. Y'all don't know how to do stuff. Y'all don't know how to do stuff. Stop complaining. It's somebody out here don't even got no car. Tell me, you think I'm finna complain about not having no air? Now, I do be hot. I do be hot. And when I come to red lights, I roll my windows up a little so that I can get illusion to the people around me that I got air in my car. Sometimes, because you leave that one. And another thing, you ain't got no air on the car, in your car. Because somebody at these 162 ain't got no air in their car. At least one person ain't got no air in their car. Like me, I'm trying to help y'all out. Stop getting in the car talking on your phone. Don't take phone calls when you in the car. Because you got to ride with all your windows down. And you can't help with all that wind blowing in the phone. Everybody that called me when I'm in the car, say, babe, I got to call you back. You know I ain't got no air. So if I'm talking to you on the phone, that means I got to roll my windows up and blow up. There's a bomb in Gilead in my car. No, I'll call you when I arrive to my destination. And my son the other day, I'm hot, I'm hot, I'm hot too, son. Stop letting these situations come and, 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 and it makes you ungrateful. God said it ain't time for you to have no air in your car. And guess what? When you finally get air in your car, when I finally get air in my car, whoo, I'm going to be grateful. I'm going to thank God every 
piece of inch of air that blow out and hit my skin, I'm happy for it. And then guess what else that, that, that turns into? Now I'm happy for the small things. A lot of people need money, cars, jewelry to be happy. Guess what somebody like me, all I need is some air to be happy. And when I get my air, I'm going to go live in my car. And y'all ain't going to hear nothing I'm saying. All you going to hear is air blowing. Air blowing. Could you get off that line, please? I'm preaching because God told me somebody said something about my weight. I said, God ain't told me to go to the gym yet. This ain't the season. When God tell me to go, I go. A lot of these folks on here be so eager to do stuff. They just want to hurry up and do it. God said, wait. Did God say that for real? God told me it ain't time me to go to the gym. I know what he told me. And for love said, did, look, did, look at my mama. Did God tell you that? God ain't going to tell me the same. He not going to tell you what he told me. You don't know that. Oh, what, what he told you then? He ain't told me nothing. Because that ain't for you. God ain't in your car. God came to me and told me that. Now she mad because God ain't told her. Could you get off that phone? Because I got some stuff I need you to help me do. Look at her. Look at her. She mad. She mad, yeah. Cause, Cause God ain't told her the same he thing he told me. told you that either. He did tell me. When and he, he using me to tell them. When he told you that? God said it ain't my time to go to the gym. It's not my workout season. It's my work in season. I'm working in Facebook. In YouTube. God ain't told me that yet. She got to stop thinking that. I ain't saying I don't. You, she you, mad. You sit up there and want to blow up? That's on you. Well, I, I'm not saying that I'm not. I'm, I'm not complaining like that because I know God going to come and he's going to bless me with what I need to be blessed with, the materials that I need. But right now, it's not our season for me and my car. God is taking me through something. What are you worried about? Because I was telling them that. Because it might be somebody on here that ain't got no air in their car. And God using me to tell my testimony. They, they, try, they trying to go and trying to step out beyond their means. That's all I'm saying. Folks out here see their friend got a car. Now they want, I got to give me a car. No, you, you got to stand still. God don't bless you. My car shakes when it be still now. And guess what I do? I shakes with it to the music. Put your... When you ain't got no air on in the car, put you some music on. If your car's shaking, put you some music on and shake with your car. You got to learn how to move with the struggle. Move with the struggle. Move with it. Don't stand still and you crying about your struggle. Turn the music on and move with your struggle. Is somebody listening to that? Yeah, they listening. Move with it. You see what I'm saying? See, you made me because I was finna say something else. Now, if you ain't got no car, I'ma pray for you. I'ma pray for you. But we all done been without cars. You might not have a car, but you got somewhere to stay. Shoot. Back in the day, I know somebody that didn't have a car, and me, my mom, and my sister used to have to go pick them up. All the time. We used to take turns. Now, we used to cuss and fuss about it, but guess what? We used to go pick them up. You need you some reliable people in your life that when you struggling, they going to help you out. You around here struggling. Tell these people you struggling. They sitting there, man, they're crazy. That's all they say. That's crazy. Okay. Keep being around them fake people. Get them out your corner. Get them out your corner. Get them out your corner. Shoot, this is the season of sitting the hell down. Sit down. It's a pandemic and you worry about going out there. Sit down. This is the sit the hell down season right now. I need to go get my hair done to go well. Where you, where you finna go? God just shut down the whole world. Y'all still out here trying to live above your mean and still trying to act like you got to buy this and buy that. Sit down. I ain't gonna keep telling y'all though. I, I tell you what, though, I can't wait till this air in my car season over with because I, I be hot. Had to come put my mama clothes on and got here. I was hot.
Did you bring that on? This shorts and t-shirt. Car, I will hide in the car. Did you bring that over here? I wore these pants in my car. I was hot. You knew you was gonna be hot when you got in the car. But I got in my car so quick. I. That's why God said, wait. I didn't wait when I got in my car. I hopped right on you in. Wait and take that off and put them back on when you get ready to go. But I'm gonna be hot again when I get in my car. Well, it's cool outside now. It done rain. That's another thing. You ain't got no air in your car. Sit down and be still. Move when the sun go down. Y'all trying to move at three, four in the afternoon. God said, wait. A lot of y'all ain't waiting. A lot of y'all ain't way. Mm -mm. God told me to make my YouTube and get my microphone. I don't know why, but I'm doing it because he said do it. Do it. Do it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. People out here trying to people out here trying to go buy crab legs and shrimp. So they can. They this ain't the season to buy strump legs and all that. This the season to humble yourself. Sometimes you got to go back and remind yourself what a struggle look like, so you can be grateful for the situation that you are in now. The situation that you in now got you thinking you need to eat strump crab legs, da da da, da all that. No, God say sometimes go back. Fried bologna sandwich. Go back. Roman noodles. Go back. Um, hot dogs and beans. And then when you go back, guess what? What happened when you go back? It makes you appreciate the now. Okay, I'm struggling for y'all because God telling me this as I struggle. He telling y'all this. He telling me to tell y'all this because you might be up there, but you can fall, baby. You can fall or you can ball. But you're going to experience some all. Y'all think y'all just supposed to do this and do that. Y'all got to stop. Y'all got y'all really got to stop. Peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. You right. Hell no, nah, this is summer season. Seafood and cookouts. Okay. Well, if you can go, you go. You go. But God said, wait. Beanies and weenies. Yeah, B Lynn merch. You on the cash app there if you want shirts and stuff. Yeah, that went on there. I used to chat with Cardi B on Instagram like this before she made it be. I said she was a star. Now I'm telling you, you are a star girl. We will see you on the big screen real soon. Thank y'all. And guess what? Chicken nugget season. That's right. That's right. Now, the only reason I moved today quick is because I had to take my son and his dad house to go to a birthday party. Move with the struggle. Move with the struggle. Yeah, my man, I'm scrolling through um on the computer. Trying to read these comments because I ain't read the comments in about 20 minutes. Because you've been running your mouth. I've been preaching. I've been giving them advice. I can be a motivational speaker if I wanted to. Yup, somebody out here walking right now from Inslee to Center Point. And the people that ain't got no car or the people that live that ain't got nowhere to stay, they be the most humblest. They don't complain about nothing. Them people living out there in the heat. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Y'all not a bro. It's hot in here. Then my air in my house ain't been working right. I got to get that. Oh, I forgot all about that, y'all. Yeah, while I'm sitting up preaching. 
My ad, my house ain't even been working right. My ad used to be cold all the time in the house. It ain't even been working for real. I said, God, what you trying to tell me? The air in my car and the air in my house. Mmm. Mmm. What he trying to tell me? My mama done went and bought some outfits. Keep going. I don't, I don't need no clothes. I'm good. The devil is active. Everybody been blessed by Billy and Sermon. Uh-huh. What's she preaching? Because you been running your mouth. You been yapping off for the last hour. God told me to help you stop stressing and pick you up so we can go to vacation together. God ain't told you that. <laughs> God ain't told you that. Now y'all want to say God told you what, what y'all want to say. You told you that. That lust spirit told you that. Lust. Ooh, them sloppy joes still be here. Hey, Miss Wanda Peterson. Yo, my mama said you be on here every day, don't you? Well, you get rich, you need to take care of Miss Peterson. Right, I got I to look out for Miss Peterson. Now, I'm out of breath from taking talking all that. That's why I need to be in the gym right there. I'm in Virginia and it's hot and raining. Oh, it just started raining out here. I need to be checking my messages because I ain't got so many messages while I've been on live. Yeah, now the dudes want to use God. Tell my God told them to. God ain't told me that. He tell both of us at the same time. Niggas will try to God told me until, until, until they went into some vagina. That's what they want to do. Yeah, I'm cute. He said, nah, sweetheart, God told me to be direct. Okay. There is a bomb in Gilead. 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 Oh, 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 there is a bomb in Gilead. Da, da. There is a bomb in Gilead. Da, da, da. There is a bomb. There is a bomb in Gilead. That's why I ain't got no L in my house. And I ain't got no air in my car. What they meant when they said there's a bomb in Gilead? What guy had blew up that city or something? I don't know. But you can, you can get blown up outside walking, but you can get out of here. Why? Because I, I ain't going to listen to that. I don't listen to it long enough. Been on that Facebook file. This ain't Facebook. This YouTube. Okay. Uh, whatever tube you been on it long enough. They say it's bomb. B-A-L-M. Who said it's a bomb? B O M B. Who said it was a bomb? Well, what is bomb? I don't know. What is bomb? B A L M. Well, I take that back. I guess God ain't told me it's a bomb in Gilead then. That ain't why I ain't got no air in. Uh, 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 they said a bong. The bong, some you smoke that weed out of. Now, some people saying bong, and some people saying bomb. B A L M. Oh, Miss Juan Peterson said bomb is a healing ointment. Okay. So that do they can go back to my car then. A healing ointment is a healing is about to get ready to take place. But in order for it to take place, I got to go without air. So that it because no air means you sweat, which means your pores are open. So when God get ready to bless me, guess where them blessings gonna go? It's gonna seep in them pores. That's why my air off. It's going to seep within. I ain't going to get blessings on the outside. I'm going to get blessed from the outside to the inside. That's what they rep represent. That's why I ain't got no air. Bomb and Gilead. 
healing ointment because God finna put them blessings on my heat strokes that's on my body like an ointment. Y'all laughing because I almost got third degree burns sent in the car. But guess what? God said it's a balm in Gilead, which means healing ointment, which means I'm finna get them blessings and rub it from the inside to the outside of your pores. Y'all got to start, start listening. Sit still and listen. Y'all got all these messy people around you talking. It's okay to be messy. You got to be messy with the right people. Y'all being messy with people that's being messy outside the clip. That's preventing you from getting your blessings. And that, that, come on. Y'all got to stop. Y'all got, oh, y'all got to stop. It's time to clean house. That's why that pandemic here, because God finna get a lot of things in order. A lot of things. A lot of things. Got my food stamps, though. I said, this the season to sit at home and eat. What I said. Then I say that earlier. Well, what I said. That's why he told me not to go to the gym. That's why he told me not to go to the gym. I, I had that, that testimony earlier. I already told him that. He said, when that smoke go through your... <laughs> he said, when that smoke go through your lungs and hit you real good, that's when you know they hit that bong and gilly. <laughs> you right. Somebody said, God told me to tell you put the camera on your mama. No, God ain't told him that. What you said? Don't, don't call my fans no lie now. What? God ain't told him to tell you. You don't know what God told him to do. Okay. And what, he, what was supposed to happen when he put the camera on me? What was supposed to happen? <laughs> I don't know. He ain't tell me the rest of that. Oh, okay. Yeah, she, yeah, she private. Somebody said, go stay with my dude. She has L. I can't tell because she ain't got it on. Yeah, we had to. Yeah, we had to film over here. Uh, I had filmed my series, some of my series over here yesterday. This dude came in and said, dang, I forgot your mom don't even be having no L on the hill. I'm finna just go wait outside. I'm 28. Oh, I love some hot fries. Somebody said, it look like your mama get a new couch set every tax season. Now, yep. Brittany gets my old. Yeah, I get my mama. Oh, I get all my mama old couches. Because they don't even be old. My mama be having them couches for about five months. And they come right on, passing on down to me. Your blessing is on the way, baby. Thank you, Miss Wanda. It sure lives. Oh, what that song is? Hold up. Change is coming. Hold up, don't worry about a thing. Some people like to worry, some people like to hide, some people like to run away from the pain inside. Now it's show business, do whatever you want to do, but if it don't work out, Here's what you want to do, or just hold on. What he said? La, 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 la. Ma, say the second la, la part after me. nothing. But that's how they did it on the song. I can't do both of the la parts. You better get one of them on that. that I can't hear them say it. La 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 Hold on. A lot of y'all ain't holding on. Now, I'm gonna leave y'all with one more song. Give me a good, give me a good gospel song. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
How did Kurt Franklin start off? Um, dun -dun -dun, this love. I've come through the fire and not be through the flood. I've been broken into pieces. See lightning flashing from above, but through love I remember that he loves me and he cares and he'll never put more on me than I can bear. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. My car passed me this box. I'm put my money now. Ooh, Jesus. Oh, yeah. Oh, I've gone. I've gone through the fire, through the fire. And I've been happy. My kids seen the cars. Through the flood. I've been broken into pieces. See lightning flashing. Let me get to the good part. What'd he say? Uh, what the end of the... Dang. Anyway. Yep. Collection plate coming around. Put more on me than I, than I can be. Yep, we can pass it around. Who $20 this is? What the $20 for? What is it? Right That's all the songs I got, y'all. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. What kind of, what kind of request y'all got? <laughs> Woke up this morning, feeling kind of down. I called on my best friend, yes, she could not be found. Yes, so I called on Jesus, my life he can go. Yes, sister, I'd rather have Jesus. Then silver and gold, silver and silver and gold. Oh, silver. Yes, I get gold. I'd rather have Jesus than silver and gold. No pain, no pain. I don't know that part of it. No riches, no riches. Yes, sister. Oh, I, my, I can't sing the chorus and the lead and say yes, sister. You say yes, sister. Yeah, because you're going to get out of here. Them folks got stuff to do. No, they don't. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. That was a big Kurt Franklin song. Let me see. Um, hold on, yeah. Let me see. Okay, let's see if y'all remember. Was y'all some big Kurt Franklin fans? Y'all know they gonna cut me off. They gonna cut me off. So I know, but I know because I don't play that much. I used to love Kurt Franklin in the family. All right, let's see. And Kurt Franklin in the family. Always gotta talk for 30, 38 minutes for the sun store. More than life to me. All right. Let's go. This is praise and worship hour. 
See, y'all be on these four YouTube pages and, and, and they don't need cater to what you... Okay, watch this. Said you more than life to me. You up the joy in there I breathe. No other love can shelter me that makes my spirit sway. Hold me close, don't let me go. Mom, come pass me this box. Only friend. <laughs> she don't want to do nothing, y'all. That is why I love you so. More than life to me. Hey, sister. More than lie to me. Toss, I hope y'all sing along. Sweet oh, they can't eat it. Said you more than lie to me. You are the joy in how I be. No other love can shelter me. That makes my spirit shine. Hold me close, oh love. Hold me close, oh you're the only friend I'll ever know. That is why I love you so more than life to me. More. Could you stop? Stop! It's time for my lead. You rattling too much paper. Said you're more than life to me. You are the joy in our breath. No other love can shelter me. That makes my spirit sad. Hold me close, don't let me go. You're the only friend I'll ever know. That is why I love you. More than life to me, more than life to me. Say I ain't say them parts like her. Okay. 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 Let's see what. This is just a praise hour. Ma, go get me a church head. Somebody said put church, church head on. Where did this one from? You got no church head. More than lie to me. Mm. Ooh, my mom says eight degrees in here. It's hot in here. I don't want to keep playing on slow songs. It's hot. <laughs> My mom don't care how hot it be in here. She ain't gonna turn on no. Uh, she ain't gonna turn on the witch call. Oh, today is Sunday too, yeah. I forgot. Yeah. Hunger no more. Preach, preacher. I don't know why this ain't loud. The ready? For the revolution. Oh, 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 do you want a revolution? I said, do you want a revolution? Woo, No side of my killing each other. I need a uh, lyrics to this one. Lay around and stay around. Yeah, sick and tired of the church talking religion. What people talking about, talking about, talking about religion. No religion, no good reason, no religion, no religion. I don't know that whole song. I got to know the lyrics to that one. Do you want a revolution? What you feeling is a hoot song. Who you calling truth song? You know Jesus is the truth song. The brothers up, some of lot stops. I'm finna, uh uh. Let me pull up the lyrics just for that rap poet. No time, politicians time, everybody trying. 
to make a dollar. It makes you wanna holler. The way I live my life, the way I live my life. There's gonna be a bride today, and now your troubles will pass away. The revolution's coming, yes it's coming, coming. Revolution's coming, yes it's coming, 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 coming. Some book. I just wanna, I just wanna rap Kurt Franklin for it. Okay. All right. What you feeling? What you want? Some. Who you calling to? Some. You know Jesus is the true son. The second in the Trinity. I know you're feeling him. 500 is up until the new millennium. You hear him, him, the trumpet sounds, Christ lights, the last, the first, the last, the worst, it won't pass. So don't be caught slipping, brother, when you see him tripping. I'm giving. Even go, they say we move too much, we do too much. If you step against us, then you lose too much. Ain't no stopping what we doing when the spirit is moving. Don't be hating what we doing, I'm the vessel he's using. Everywhere I be, they try to judge me. They try to shake me, they try to budge me. But they can't break me because I'm down with Christ. Dark child and new nation make you feel all right. On my East Coast, say, say, whoop, whoop. Whoop, whoop. Okay, y'all want to know something? My favorite movie in the whole wide world is Sister Act 2. And yeah, I know that whole, the end and finale part, I know the whole song and the dance by heart. Do y'all want to see it right quick? Do y'all want to see me do the Sister Act 2, the joyful, joyful end finale? Because I will push this chair back right now and do it. All I need, yes, all I need to see is one yes, okay? That's all I need is one. That's all I need is one. That's all I need is one. Yes. Y'all should have been told me to do this. Stop playing with me. Stop playing with me. I wish I could set it up where y'all could see the TV too. That I'm actually doing the same steps as them. But it's cool. Joyful, joyful, Lord, we adore thee. Mom, where your phone gate? So I can play this song. What do you mean play so I can play the song? Hold on, y'all, because y'all can't hear my computer. Huh? I, I know about all. Let me just see. Okay. Yeah, I'm playing on my mama's phone because my computer ain't loud enough. Hold on, y'all. How you get to the internet? Don't ask me. <laughs> How you get to the internet, Ma? Is this Google? Not a Shrugle. It's what? Shrugle. You better get bring me my shorts back here. Hold on. Okay. Come on, you got to cut that off for my book. She won't come here with, with all that. Why your internet ain't working? Because no part I want you to sit on there and play with it. Joyful, joyful, Lord, we adore thee, and in my life I put none before thee, but since I was a youngster, I came to know that you were the only way to go. So I had to, you know, stop playing. Why your internet ain't working? That's why I need my own stuff. That's all she want to do is, is eat. But what I said we doing in this season, eat. What's she doing? Okay. Joy, joy, Lord, we adore When it's time for me to dance, you got to get back, baby. You got to get back. Take off your ropes. Oh, she said, take off your ropes. Take off your ropes. Put on anything you want. Yeah, oh, we're going to go out there. We're going to be comfortable. Feel the sadness ride the dark world down. Oh, man. It's coming. It's coming. The good part about the call. Just wait. Fill us with the light. Fill us with the light. Oh, fill us with the light. All right, here you go. Okay. <laughs> Lord of God, hearts are full of 
Because I heard him. I heard him say it. I heard him say it during the dance. I heard him say it. He said, go. Earlier, I said God ain't told me to go get in the gym. I said that earlier when I preached earlier. Yeah, I heard him loud and clear. Even through the music, blasting through the speakers, he said, go. With authority in his voice, go and get in the gym. That's what he said. Yes, yes. Mm. So that too, my favorite movie. Because if you wanna, go, no, what is it? if you wanna be somebody, if you wanna go somewhere, you better wake up and pick that day. I say, dang, if you want to be somebody, if you want to go somewhere, you better wake up and pay attention. That's what he said. I love Sister Ed, too. That's my favorite movie. Yeah. They got Sister Ed, too, on Disney Plus, too. Growing up, in a Christian household, we couldn't watch all that boobily, 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 all that. We had to watch the Christian movies. Just like Prince of Egypt. My favorite song on Prince of Egypt is Mariah Carey and Whitney Houston, If You Believe. Many nights we pray with no proof anyone could hear. Sons are high and low before you knew we could. 
Now we are not afraid. Yeah, I know it with the song. There can be miracles if you believe. The hope is frail, it's hard to keep. Who knows what miracles you can achieve when you believe it's hard to some. I know it though. I'm out of breath. I can't even think. You will when you believe. They don't always happen when you ask. Oh, and it's easy to give in to your will. Oh, oh. I'm tired. I'm tired, y'all. I'm tired after that praise dance routine. That was the praise dance routine. I can listen to old gospel music all day. I don't know about the new gospel music. Probably, I'm just so... But I'm set up on my ways like that with all music. Old gospel music, I still listen to like it just came out. Old rap. Oh, all that type of stuff. I, I rock with some new music out. But if y'all ride with me in the comments and the old stuff. And I was a big Hannah Montana fan. But I ain't gonna see no Hannah Montana because I know ain't no Hannah Montana fans on here. You get the movies out front. Ew. How the styles, every shoe, every color. Yeah, when you're famous, it can be kind of fun. It's really you, but no one ever discovered. Mm -mm. Who had a thought that a girl, nah, she not real. Who not real? You get the butt. But I know the hell in my town. Like, I know the song songs outside of... I used to listen to her music. I was a big Hannah Montana fan, yeah. My 11th, 12th grade year. I was in 11th, 12th grade. I went to Pinson, so it was like natural, my 11th, 12th grade year. Y'all had the Hannah Montana pins when you click it. It used to say, who said, who said, I can't believe anything I said, I said that. I used to click the pen and used to sing, and the teacher never knew where the song was coming from. I had the Hannah Montana notebooks. I had the Hannah Montana playing cards. My best friend had the Hannah Montana blanket. Um, man, we were some big Hannah Montana fans in 11th to a grade. I was a big distance Hannah fan anyway, but them Hannah Montana, um, songs. I still listen to them in my car, like all the songs. High School Musical, uh, all them. I still listen to this. Oh, especially Cheetah Girls. Man, this is trying to be out the chain. I still listen to them songs in my car at 28 years old. Oh, God. For real. I used to want to be a country singer when I was younger. I don't know why the hell I used to be wanting to be the craziest stuff when, when I was younger. But I did. I used to want to be a country singer when I was younger. I feel like that's why I ended up getting that guitar because I wanted to. For real, for real, I had bought that guitar like. Some years ago, because I really wanted to play, um, know how to play the guitar, because I wanted to, you know, be on some, like, country-type vibes, but I ain't never, um, uh, do it. You want to fight because I said she not real. Who, Hannah Montana not real? No, of course, no, Hannah Montana isn't real. Molly Cyrus. What's Hannah Montana? Shoot. Oh, she not real. How about I tell y'all? Yeah. 
Yes, I'm out of breath. I'm old school. Okay, yeah, I gotta get ready to go now. I'm out of breath. Thank you, Jesus. You right. I'm gonna have to get a place out of my coronavirus. You right. Play Fresh Out of London by Jake Paul. She's not gonna play nothing else. Y'all heard my mom in the background. She said she's not gonna play nothing else. What's the next project for you? I'm working on my cut of Sal um series that's what i'm working on now and then when i get that the call the south series rolling i'm going to start on stand-up comedy and then after that i don't know what's after that but those are the next and i, I want to do a, um i want to do a short film my own short film but i know that's probably not gonna be coming right now until i you know, get that stuff up, get it on going. My billion, what a fool that you know at church the chicken potato. Yep, they always had that at, at the end of the service. And you ain't gonna get nothing but one chicken stick. You gonna get one one leg, a leg, some greens, and some potato salad. Wait, do you travel for scenarios on each film? Huh? Billion, thank you for all the Appreciate it for real. You're welcome. Hold on. What's that way? Do you travel for scenarios on each film? What you mean? If B. Simone made you, are way funnier, so you will be there soon. Thank you. Yeah, make sure y'all go subscribe to my um YouTube vlogging channel. Because I won't be posting vlogs on this channel no more. All my vlogs will be on that other channel. And the link is in my description um on my community tab. So, y'all, please go subscribe to that channel, too. So y'all, y'all go subscribe to that channel, and I'm gonna be dropping more skits and stuff. Um, I'm gonna be dropping the Boo Man and Madu skit tomorrow, and then I'll be dropping lives on that other page too. Any Boo Man, um, I ain't got no Boo Man mask with me right now. Done, but I already told them they can go on the website to purchase the mask, but we only got about nine left. Make sure y'all go to the website, www.1blin.com, so y'all can purchase um all the merch. Oh, I love um, Carrie Underwood now. What that song? Um, what is this? 18 years have come and go. For mama, they flew by. But for me, they drove on and on. We were loading up that Chevy, boy, trying not to cry. Mama kept on talking, putting off goodbye. Well, what she said, before we, some, some, I said, hey, mama, don't forget. Don't, 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 don't. Before you hit the highway, you better stop for gas. There's your 50 in the ashtray in case you run short on cash. Here's a map and here's a Bible if you ever lose your way. Jesus, take the wheel. Take it from my hands. And I can do this on my own. I'm letting go. So give me one good chance. Save me from this road I'm on. Jesus, take the wheel. I love Karen Underwood, man. 
that girl can sign. Yeah, I don't know Carrie Underwood. Um, I don't know none of her new songs because I ain't been listening to country like that lately. But and the one, um, uh, the one when she was getting married and her husband had got killed, he was in the army. What was I forgot that song? I know it if I hear. Uh, this is just a dream. Take it from my hands, cause I can't do this on my own. What was before he cheats? How did John start with? Mm -hmm. I took a lure grass slugger to both headlights. I know the song, man. I, I be having a hit, but I know that whole song. How did she start? Um, I took a lure grass slugger to both headlights. Smash the hill and all four tires. Maybe next time he'll think before he cheats. Mm. Damn, why that song? Maybe next time he'll think before he cheats. Damn, I had to hear it. But I know the dog on the song. I ain't heard, I ain't listened to the songs in so long. Yeah, y'all go to the website for new merch. It'll be some bags and phone cases on there and stuff like that. Y'all just want to go to the uh, website so y'all can check out all the merch that's going to be on there. At B. Lynn Vlogs, do that pop up when y'all type that in there? You are just one country surprise after another talented. Thank you. Okay, yeah, I gotta go. Cause my best friend texted me. I probably be up down the hill. I'm, I probably be driving to the hill so I can go to the barbecue. Mm -hmm. Two black Cadillacs. Okay, I'm, I'm, man, y'all finna make me listen to some country when I get into on um, the car. But y'all make sure y'all go follow my own my mama blog page on um, where all the blogs are gonna be. Please go follow them. And also go to my website for new merch. Um, we see her shirts little. The masks are gonna be whoever come first. Um, it's only nine of them on there now. Um, and then some more merch is gonna be on there too. So y'all make sure y'all go on there. And y'all enjoy the rest of y'all Sunday again. Thank y'all for watching. Thank y'all for supporting. I love y'all, oh God. Thank y'all. Y'all enjoy the rest of y'all on um, Sunday. I gotta go get in the car and burn up and listen to Fresh Out of London by J. Paul. Okay, I'm gonna listen to that. All right, y'all.